Your brain can change in three very basic ways to support learning. And the first is chemical. So your brain actually functions by transferring chemical signals between brain cells, what we call neurons, and these trigger a series of actions and reactions. So to support learning, your brain can increase the amount or the concentrations of these chemical signaling that's taking place between neurons. Now, because this kind of change can happen very rapidly, this supports short-term memory or the short-term improvement in the performance of a motor skill. The second way that the brain can change to support learning is by altering its structure. So during learning, the brain can change the connections between neurons. Now here, the physical structure of the brain is actually changing, so this takes a bit more time. These types of changes are related to long-term memory, the long-term improvement in a motor skill. Now, these processes, they interact, and let me give you an example of how. So we've all tried to learn a new motor skill, maybe playing the piano, maybe learning to juggle. And you've had the experience of getting better and better within a single session of practice and thinking, I've got it. And then maybe you've returned the next day and all those improvements from the day before, they're lost. What happened? Well, in the short term, your brain was able to increase the chemical signaling between your neurons. For some reason, those changes did not induce the structural change that are necessary to support long-term memory.